It's your boy Matt Doe and today I wanted to do a what's on my iPhone video or top apps, favorite apps that I use type of thing. Uh, this is really just me showing you guys what I use on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of apps and widgets and kind of how I organize and lay out my phone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to go ahead and do the screen record. Two, one. All right. And now we're screen recording. So this is the first page that's on my phone. But before I talk about this, uh, let me go ahead and swipe left to widgets. And the top three widgets that I use here are the weather, screen time, and the stocks widget. I do have the screen time widget twice, both here and on another page, just so that I can kind of see how much time I'm spending on my phone. Um, and it's a good reminder for me to kind of get off my phone and kind of put it down if I'm using it too much. But weather, pretty self-explanatory, screen time, and then I'll go into stocks if I want to check in the stocks or anything. So beginning with this first page here, uh, I always, you know, just want to see at a glance, you know, my calendar and the time, the clock. So calendar is Google Calendar. It's synced with my work email and my personal email. Uh, I'm not going to tap it because there's some events and, you know, some confidential, you know, meetings and stuff in there. Uh, but essentially that's my Google Calendar. And then clock is where I go to for, you know, uh, mostly for alarm if I got to change things up, switch my sleep schedule a little bit, and then the whole stopwatch and timer, right? And then this is really cool right here. So shortcuts, uh, I really didn't utilize or know how to use the shortcuts app until really this past week. So last weekend was when I really did the entire reorganization of my phone. And this is really cool because I haven't even dived into the advanced part like scripting and all that. Well, maybe like touch base on it a little bit, but these apps, these four apps that are on the shortcuts right there are the apps that I use most and open every day that normally take a few taps to do, but with the Shortcuts app, it only takes one app. So with Notion, I can dive right into my YouTube channel, right? Normally, normally when uh, I wanna go into Notion, then I'll go here, and then it kind of starts me uh, you know, somewhere else like here. This is my layout, by the way. Let me know if you guys wanna see like a Notion, how I set up my Notion dashboard video. And then I have to like go all the way here, YouTube channel, but with the shortcuts uh, widget that I could just press Notion and I can access like my YouTube channel page, my habit tracker, 2021 goals, landlord tracking, all sorts of things like that. And the one I use most is YouTube channel. This is where I use to plan really all my YouTube ideas. So I got some, you know, coming in the pipeline. It's kind of loading right now, but here's all the ideas. Um, and then the scripting, filming, that's kind of how I set things up. So I really love this shortcuts widget. Um, and then open headspace just at a glance right there. That way I can just start diving into the headspace and the meditation. And then FaceTime Paulina. Paulina is my girlfriend. We FaceTime literally every day uh, because it is a long distance relationship. So uh, just being able to press that instead of the phone and then the recent and then all of that. So being able to just press that, it, it's just very seamless. And then I'm trying to change the Shazam shortcut that way when I press that it automatically opens it identifies a song and then identif or and then opens it in Spotify but right now it does it for Apple Music and I don't have a subscription to Apple Music uh, so I'm trying to switch that up in a bit but I don't really use the Shazam that much uh, but it will be nice for when I do for it to just open into Spotify okay so that is the shortcuts widget Gmail Google Maps, I use those all the time. Uh, Gmail, of course, you know, to check my personal email. Google Maps, I GPS everywhere. I'm horrible with direction. Notion I talked about already. Nanoleaf um, is what I use to control the light panels in the corner of my room. It's actually back there. Um, I probably might actually set up a shortcut for Nanoleaf as well because I do use this every night. But this is basically what I use to change you know, the themes, the RGB lighting from warm to cool, whatever it may be, this is what I use right here. Okay, so that's Nanoleaf. Seven minute workout is something I installed recently. Seven minute workout is essentially a workout that's seven minutes. Not really much to get you sweating, but it's, it's really meant for people to do at the beginning of their day when they wake up. If they do a seven minute workout, then it kind of gets them awake and alert and energized for the day. But right now I kind of use it as a supplement to my current workouts, which I do in the evening. I'm trying to do it in the morning though. But anyways, Clarity Money. 
This is what I use. I installed this recently um, for, you know, like budget tracking and things like that. I have my bank accounts all set up. Uh, so that's Clarity Money. I won't dive too much into there because, you know, it has all the personal finance information. But uh, I really like it so far. Uh, I've used Mint and um, other personal finance apps, but I really like Clarity Money because it's backed and um, used by Goldman Sachs. Uh, and they're behind Marcus Insights as well. So uh, I really like the UI and it's really nice and clean and it's free. Spotify, pretty self-explanatory. You know, I use this to stream all my music. LiFX uh, is probably gonna be utilized as a shortcut as well, maybe, um, because I do use this every time to, you know, change the lighting around my, um, my room and my area. So, you know, the LiFX bulbs right there uh, are all set up. I don't like how I have to use LiFX and NanoLeaf separately, but it is what it is for now until I figure out a workaround. But yeah, this is essentially what I use. Uh, so right now it's on peaceful. I can do bias lighting to make all the lights white. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the YouTube light there, but there's blissful, um, Independence Day. Oh, oh. and then uh, if we go back to themes, right? Relaxing, make it all green and stuff. Oh, that's pretty crazy. But uh, let's change it back to, I think it was uh, peaceful was what it was. Okay, yeah, so this is why I really like setting RGB themes at night uh, because it really just kind of sets the mood and kind of feel, it makes me feel like I'm in like a creative space, like a creative lab, you know? Uh, so when I have the lights off and the RGB lights are on, it really kind of gets me in the zone for editing and creating. So I really love that. But then otherwise during the day, it'll either be warm or cool or daylight, whatever it may be. I really like if you see the strip behind the monitor, if you go into monitor lights and then you can see palette right here, you can literally paint the palette. So let's say I choose green. I can paint just part of the strips green and then part of that like red. We do like a Christmas theme or something or then even blue in the middle. So I think that's really, really cool. We'll do purple right there, right? and. This to me right here is worth the premium price for LiFX strips. I don't know any other strips that can do this, but LiFX strips were, they're much more expensive than other brands of light strips, but usually other light strips can only do one color. I love how LiFX can do multiple colors and kind of paint it like that. It's just really, really cool. So anyways, that is the LiFX light. And then I control the lights in the living room as well. Uh, on to, oh, actually, let's talk about the dock for a little bit. So, of course, phone, text message, pretty self-explanatory. This folder right here is all my Apple apps, so the default or the stock photos, camera, notes, Safari, all the good stuff right there, App Store, Watch, whatever. So that's where I keep all the Apple apps instead of it cluttering up the screen. I just have it all in folder in the dock. Okay, on to the next page. So, again, I have a screen time widget just so that it's kind of all up in my face how much screen time I'm using throughout the day, right? Let's look right here. So I can see uh, 40 minutes, messages, Instagram, limits. See, I had to put limits on everything, or not everything, but I at least put a limit on YouTube because I would spend like at least two, it would be like two to four hours of YouTube per day. It was really, really bad. So I just deleted the YouTube app completely and it's actually helped quite a bit. Now I spend a lot of time texting, which is fine. Um, so yeah, this is the screen time widget. So right here, so these first, um, the first row of apps right here are my create, uh, like my creator apps. So Filmic Pro is so that I can shoot with my iPhone, right? Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it uh, there. So this is to shoot with my iPhone because I definitely, now with the iPhone 12 Pro, I definitely wanna make more shot on iPhone videos. DJI Fly is to essentially fly my drone. Buffer is something that you use to time and schedule your social media posts. Um, I just recently installed that. I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna to try to learn that or get into that more because I hate having to remember when to post something because I usually forget. Lightroom, uh, Lightroom Mobile is so that I can edit photos on the go. Uh, I just recently implemented all the presets that I use into Lightroom, so I'm gonna be editing more photos um, as I'm on the go more. And then Canva is what I use to um, generate my YouTube thumbnails. 
unfold is what is a cool way of kind of layer, layering out your uh, your IG stories, your IG story templates. And then your YT Studio, YouTube Studio is just analytics on my, um, you know, my uh, subscribers, my view count, okay, stop. Uh, watch time, things like that. Um, and then from here, I can also reply to comments pretty quickly and pretty easily. So thank you to everyone who subscribed, by the way. Clap that like button, tap that subscribe button for more uh, self-development and lifestyle content, by the way. Um, so yeah, I really like the YT Studio app. They're very good analytics. Skillshare, Skillshare is what I use for, um, you know, watching online learning courses. I'm on a current three month trial and there's some really good stuff here. Honestly, I can see why they sponsor everyone, all the YouTubers, you know, I'm watching a productivity masterclass right now. Uh, yes, I'm enjoying it. You know, productivity, video editing. I actually learned to edit better uh, on Final Cut Pro with this because I was using Premiere Pro for a good amount of years. So thank you, Ali Abdal and Thomas Frank. You guys are the legends. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my create, uh, my create rows, you know, like first row or first two apps is just to kind of shoot content. And then the rest is kind of like content analytics or, you know, um, you know, content creation in terms of like thumbnails and editing photos and things like that. So those are the first two. And then this is the, the fitness widget right here, just so that I can kind of get a glance, you know, my you know, like my, my move, exercise, uh, stats, you know, how many calories I burn, things like that. Um, I don't really tap into this that much. This is just really for me to see at a glance whether I met my or closed my rings for the day. And then these four right here, right? Uh, it's kind of, I can't really draw it on the screen, but you know, the little four in the bottom, bottom right corner right there. These are all my finance apps. So Chase is my main bank. City and Charles Schwab. I use Charles Schwab as my account for like landlord expenses and tracking. Um, City is another, I have like two credit cards on there. I do use like B of A, Discover and stuff, but I don't really utilize those that much because I automated those systems. And then Wealthfront, I really, really love Wealthfront. I opened a Wealthfront account this year and uh, it's just awesome, man. Like it's great to kind of see like at a glance you know, like all my linked accounts and whatnot. I uh, won't dive too much into that because of financial, financial information, but I opened a brokerage account with them and it's just kind of really great to see the money I kind of put in every month. It invests it for me. Um, I kind of set a more aggressive risk strategy. Um, so it's kind of more into stocks versus bonds and it's gone up. So it's really kind of cool to see. So shout out to Wealthfront. If you guys want a Wealthfront referral code, let me know. Okay, so then this is really the last page right here. So I have a Google widget. Um, the reason why I have this is because sometimes I just wanna do a quick search of something real quick. Um, turn up incognito. And then if I wanna do a quick search of something, then uh, I can as opposed to going all the way to like say Safari, right? And then searching for it right there, right? Versus, you know, like, um, bam, right there. Uh, so it's just really cool to kind of see like at a glance Google for quick searches and then Safari's for if I actually know I want to go to a certain website uh, more a web page then I'll use Safari for that. And then these apps are the apps that I just occasionally use every now and then um, but there is they I do use it enough to the point where I'd rather have it on the screen than buried in the app library. So Yelp for looking up food spots pretty obvious SoundCloud um, for listening to mixes. Uh, Spotify is really good for listening to songs and playlists, but SoundCloud is where I listen to all my mixes. So these are, you know, shoot, okay, I got it. Uh, mixes are usually like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so I listen to a lot of mixes on SoundCloud. Amazon Photos is what I use um, when I take photos on my camera then uh, I edit them and then I upload, I upload them to Amazon Photos because uh, they retain the full quality and it is unlimited because I am a Prime member. Uh, however, it is a lot slower um, than Google Photos, but Google Photos is not going to be free anymore after June, 2021. So uh, I'm kind of searching for another solution, but I do have Amazon Photos. Usually I use this for, um, yeah, basically any photos I take with the mirrorless camera. Dialpad is what I actually use Dialpad every day for work. It's my secondary work phone number per se. So uh, instead of calling from my personal cell phone number, uh, Dialpad gives me a second, excuse me, a second phone number. And then I just kind of call from there. And then, uh, yep, it basically will call as that. 
so yeah, this is uh, Pinterest is what I use for DIY stuff um, and to kind of get ideas for interior design and fashion mostly. Uh, sometimes I'll go look up a recipe, but for recipes, I just kind of go on YouTube. Uh, Amazon, of course, for shopping, Messenger to keep in touch with friends, Google Photos for uploading all the, you know, like the whatever photos, like screenshots and quick photos taken with iPhone. And then Slack is what I use for, um, uh, for work, uh, for communicating with my colleagues and, and my teams. And then health, um, just kind of get a glance at my sleep schedule, how many steps I take. I really like the health app. It wasn't that great when it first launched, but it's come a long way. Um, so yeah, I really like all the data that is shown. I'm really, really keen on data and kind of analyzing data, at least more recently. Um, so I really like the health app for that. Then utilities is, you know, just what I use, the voice memos, compass, measure, pretty self-explanatory, and they're the stock ones by Apple. Honeywell Home. This is what I use to adjust the temperature in my house because I have a Honeywell thermostat. So I go here, right, Honeywell home, and then I can tell you that inside it's 70 degrees. I can change the mode, right, to auto, heater, AC, turn it off completely, fan, set certain times when I want, um, you know, what time do I want each, what time I want the temperature to be at a certain point or time, whatever. Uh, ring, ring is clutch. The house that I bought came with a ring video doorbell. So I'm able to just kind of see right here, you know, tap to go live. And then I can see who's outside my porch right there. And what's also cool about it is that I can also see, if I go back, uh, let's uh, do this. Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. And then I can see certain, you know, like time frames during the day you know, who came in, who came out, things like that. So it's really cool. So that's Ring. Uh, and then Unleashed is what, so this is Ruckus Unleashed. Uh, without getting too technical, basically I have Ruckus um, hubs built throughout the house so that there are no Wi-Fi dead spots. So you know how sometimes if you go downstairs in the kitchen or outside or front door, whatever, your Wi-Fi can drop off a little bit because the modem router is connected somewhere else or it's far away from you. Ruckus is basically enterprise grade Wi-Fi, meaning there are no dead spots inside the house or even if you step out to the backyard or front porch. So that is Ruckus for you. One password to safely and securely store all my passwords. And Taylor, I actually really like Taylor because when I am screenshotting uh, things, you know, like a, like a text message log, um, instead of sending multiple um, screenshots, I can tailor and stitch them all together um, from, you know, and basically form one long photo, one long collage of screenshots per se. It stitches it together. There, you need to kind of have some overlap with it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Taylor for you. So that is really it. And that, and then Habit Habitica is something I actually installed literally an hour or so ago. Um, so I'm using that or I'm trying to use that to kind of keep better track of my habits. The way they do that is um, by, you know, through video game style. So I still haven't set it up or anything yet, but uh, yeah, I, um, I just downloaded Habitica and that is really it. That is on my iPhone. Oh yeah. And if you're wondering, uh, that is a squirrel right there. So uh, I took that picture with a, with my Sony 90 millimeter macro lens. So it's really sharp really detailed i didn't have to get too close to the squirrel and um yeah i just really like it and i think it kind of matches the phone a little bit too because it was taken at pacifica beach so that is it that is uh what's on my phone and um thanks for watching let me know what some of your favorite apps are i guess uh let me know what apps you use in the comments below if you have any app suggestions uh, I'd love to hear them. I have 128 gigabytes on this thing. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Clap that like button, tap that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.